Hi, welcome to The Lowdown, for everybody's chance to shoot news. I'm Jan Duol. And I'm Jeremy Barry. Welcome to Semester 2. So we all enjoy the free wireless we get at uni here, guys, but we've got an increasing problem lately. Illegal downloading. Did you know that most files found on torrent sites aren't the legal copies? That's right. Last semester, over 40 students were fined for abusing the uni-wide wireless network. The level of illegal downloading is distressingly high. The current director of IT at UNSW, Michael Kirby Lewis, has issued the following statement. My preference is, during semester two, to increase the wireless speed and extend the coverage by adding further base stations. However, if the current levels of illegal downloads continue, I will be obliged to divert these efforts into placing restrictions on the wireless network rather than improving it. Hey guys, a couple of things are changing with the library. Here's Chris with Andrew Wells. Check it out. Hey, we're here with Andrew from the University Library, who's proposing to make some changes to the library fine system. What are they, Andrew? Basically, if you only have a small uh, amount of fines, uh, and you keep them under that a certain amount, and I'm proposing about $30, and at the end of each year, we'll wipe them as well. But if you reach the $30, it clearly says to me, um, your borrowing habits aren't good and not fair to other students, so you'll be required to pay the fine. If you're less than $30, at the end of the year, we'll just wipe it clean and just start again with a, with a, a zero balance. That sounds very fair. And um, is there anything else you want to tell us about the library, Andrew? Yeah, look, the main library, we've finished the refurbishment, and uh, I know it's been a very disruptive first session, but it's all finished. It's looking fabulous. There's lots of group study rooms. There's something like 900 extra seats in the library. There's a presentation practice room. I know lots of students are really using it. Um, whiteboards, media booths, come and use it. Making study and books attractive, that's the University Library with Andrew. This is Chris for The Lowdown. Interested in studying abroad, guys? Well, Student Exchange is a great opportunity for you to study overseas at one of the prestigious partner universities. Information sessions are held weekly during semester at the UNSW International Exchange Office. Uh, the Counselling Service and Compass programs I would like to say a big thank you for everyone who participated in their surveys. This semester there's more workshops going on to help you guys out with the studying with all university life. Check it out, here are the details. Lowdown question of the month time guys. There's Chris. On this question of the month we're asking students what they think is the best subject that they've ever studied. Let's check it out. I actually like the um, interactive systems at COFA, which is about, um, it's a bit of about sustainability, design and marketing aspect to it, kind of the business side. B managing business communication or something, it was a business one with, um, like she was Ray. Probably music, because it's like really fun to jam and chill out. Uh, math probably because uh, I like problem solving and stuff like that. I took a course about innovation and entrepreneurship and that was awesome. Probably genocide studies uh, because it, it showed um, the outcome from different perspectives. It's FINS 5513, uh, it's investment and portfolio selection. My personal favourite, image and sound. Low lighting, comfortable seats, watching classics with a kebab, it does not get better than that. That was Question of the Month, I'm Chris, back to you guys. School of Optometry are doing an online survey where you can win $100. It's actually on dry eyes, so check it out. Do you have dry eyes? Those dry eyes could win you $100! Oh, not yet! First you have to fill out this online survey from the UNSW School of Optometry and Vision. What about me? I don't have dry eyes, can I win the $100? Of course you can! The university researchers are doing a study on the prevalence of dry eye in the university population. So anyone can enter and anyone can win. Hey Jan, it's Society of the Month time. What society is this month, Jeremy? We're checking out the Whitlam Society. Gough Whitlam. Prime Minister of Australia in the mid-70s who infamously got dismissed but also introduced 
free education for all uni students. We're here talking to a society that's channeling Gough Whitlam, the Whitlam Society. James is the president, so tell us, what are you guys about? Well, the Whitlam Club is about um, a group of students coming together who share sort of similar philosophies that the Whitlam government had when he was in government. He's an old man, but are you, are you still in touch with uh, Mr Whitlam? <laughs> I, I have actually met Gough Whitlam once. I met him um, at an um, Australia Day um, event at uh, the Conservatorium of Music, and he was in his wheelchair. I think he was about 90 at that time. And he's still got, he's still pretty switched on, and hopefully he'll still be around for for years to come, but he's getting on, that's for sure. <laughs> Why should someone get involved in um, the Whitlam Society? Why should people care about politics in Australia? Well, I think the nature of our democracy is that people have to care to make it work. And when people, um, people have a problem with um, how the society's going, whether they have an issue with anything, whether it's social or economic or, or cultural, they should really get involved and try to change that. And that's what the Whitlam Club is about. It's about participating in our democracy having your voice heard and I think it's really important that we students realise that there are a lot of things that we can change and Whitlam Club is um, one of those mechanisms to achieve change in the democracy. And uh, how can people get involved and how can they uh, find out about the Whitlam Society events? Yeah that's a really good question. We've got a Facebook group and a website and they're, they're really the main ways that you can um, get in touch and join us and we'd love to see you. Alright this is Chris with James from the Whitlam Society. Get into Australian politics listeners. Get involved. Do it. Well, guys, end of an episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy Barry. And I'm Jen DeWong. We'll see you next time.